This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to a new episode of FF Period. My name is Paul and I'm as always your host of this here show. And we have the 28th episode on the 19th of February 2017. And I have a new fabulous co-host with me. It is... Sam Ford. Hey Sam. Thank you for being here. Thank Th you for having me. Yeah, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, right? It's, it's, it's pretty... It was... And, we watched something you've never seen before, right? We did. We yeah. watched uh, Raumschiff Orion. Did yeah. Pronounce it Raumpatrouille. Ah. Yeah. Raumpatrouille. Yeah. Yeah. Orion. Space Patrol Orion, yeah. the fantastic adventures of the uh, spaceship Orion. Mm -hmm. um, and just so the people get to know you, what do you do? What's what's your deal? Why 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 are you here, basically? <laughs> um, well, back home in, in Ireland, I'm uh, an actor, a director and a writer. But for the purposes of being in Vienna, I have a far less glamorous job. I try and teach English to the children of uh, St. Pulten, but oh. I don't know if it's working. Uh, the Austrians are very resilient to the English language. Oh, very resilient. Although I do, I do love the Ube Bay uh, train drivers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are approaching Vienna Madling, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're a native speaker and you have the chance to travel with the Ube Bay, do that. Just, yeah. for, just for that. Just go, go one stop. Yeah. Just go one stop with the Ube Bay and you know what we're talking about. It's amazing. They... Uh, are very uh, proficient, I guess. <laughs> I, the, I must say, I really love the pronunciation of Jesus Christ with Austrians. This sort of Jesus Christ. Yeah, Jesus. It's like uh, Jesus. Kaiser Auswahl and then Christ, yeah. like Kreisky or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which, if you uh, some of the viewers probably don't know Kreisky, he was our uh, chancellor for I think sixteen years, mm. some fourteen, something like that. He was our most prolific. After the sec uh, chancellor after the Second World War, definitely and a Jew, mm. yeah. yeah. Most people don't know that he 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 ignored it most of the time. <laughs> well, he sided with the Arabs yeah, instead yeah, yeah. of the, <laughs> the, the, the Zionist movement. So yeah, whatever. That's not here or there. Yes, do a refill. Good I'm idea. Gonna yeah. Chop up this wonderful wine. Yeah, we we are That's today great. we're drinking wine. Um, I think it's classy like this show. Yes. Because the viewers already that, that are listening in, and it's for most of them, it's not the first time. We already did all the other episodes mm -hmm. that came before mm -hmm. that. This is the sixth of seven episodes of Raum Patrouille Orion, Space Patrol Orion. Mm -hmm. And this one is called The Space Trap or um, Die Raumfalle. Yeah. And it's, it's uh, yeah, they chose the title right, I think, in this mm -hmm. case, like with uh, basically any other episode. So um, let's move on to the first thing in, in our here podcast, and that's plots. Tell the people, what, what, what did you get out of it? What, what, because it's a very simple plot in the end. So it seemed to be this, uh, this uh, <clears throat> Commander McLean. Yeah. This, uh, <laughs> Austrian man who's on a spaceship for some reason. Yeah. No, and, hey, hey, hey. He's uh, American. Oh, he's supposed to be American? Yeah, I think so. Ah, or British. See, right. Yeah, yeah no, he, he's yeah. not supposed to be Austrian with that ah. name. Cliff McLean. Cliff, <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. Cliff Alistair McLean. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's <laughs> on a spaceship and yeah. there's this little, um, oh, very unpleasant author, very arrogant man, uh, who is the the son-in-law of a government minister yes and he is obsessed with uh, spaceships and he writes novels he writes science fiction yes novels. and he's and he's a very very well regarded and famous writer too yeah yeah and he he wants to go on uh, mclean's spaceship to kind of see what it's really like yeah and and uh, he only wants mclean he doesn't want oh, yeah. anybody else. Insists on McLean. Yeah. Nobody else will do. No one else is good enough. Yeah. And uh, McLean is uh, reluctant, but he has to go along with it. Yeah. He's sort of uh, forced Be into it. Because he doesn't want to fuck with the reputation of his admiral. 
who is a friend of his. Mm-hmm. Like they have, he is like this the Ober Oberbefehlshaber. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah. The, 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 the fantastic <laughs> German way. Yeah, the, the admiral, and he he um, stood up for McLean in the previous episodes too. So there's a there's a special bond between mm-hmm. the two of them. So that makes sense in that in that regard. Yeah. So this uh, this derp of an author goes on board the uh, ship. Yeah. And he has uh, the crew is of, the uh, crew is not ha- yeah, happy they're, either. They're not very impressed by this guy. He's he's very arrogant. Uh, yeah, and he, he sort of he studied the plans of the ship. Yeah, which, in advance, which which also were uh, um, classified information. So he kind of committed treason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but he knows everything, and he knows. He's he's a wise ass too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally a cloakshizer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. complete know it all. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I don't know. He he kind of reminded me of someone who'd go on a cruise ship and go up to the captain and sort of yeah show off that he 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 knew where everything was. Yeah, uh, a bit of a nerd. <laughs> uh, not very endearing. Yeah, and then almost straight away he he insists on being allowed to borrow a side ship. Yeah, the Lancet, the L one. Yeah, to go off on a little a junket by himself. Yeah. And to collect so some rocks, this, um, because because the original mission that they were on was a scientific one. They wanted to collect stardust to mm. prove or disprove the theory that uh, life or didn't originate on Earth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the exo. It's it has a name. It's a real theory. Like uh-huh. that that's an actual think, theory of scientists to I this, think this to is this part day. Of the exposition that I didn't quite get. Yeah. <laughs> the the exoplanet, exo something. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that we are not even native to mm-hmm. Earth, we humans, but we are aliens on our own planet, basically. Yeah. That's the theory. Yeah. And um the the the, the author <laughs> whose name is Peter Paul Ibsen. Oh yeah, like and Henry we Gibson. and we must heard it like a bunch of times as yes. Gibson, yeah. <laughs> because the pronunciation of the it's, yeah. is fucked with those guys. <laughs> they even call him by his nickname Peepa. Oh yeah, Pe- Peepo. Peepo, yeah, Peepo. Peter Paul. Yeah, Pe- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoever wrote uh, thought of those names, damn, <laughs> fuck you, man. <laughs> let's let's use as many names as possible to make them. Uh, I don't know, unique, I guess. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Most generic g- Christian names. And then, yeah. He, so, he, yeah, he borrows the, the he borrows Lancet. side ship, the yeah. Lancet. To collect rocks. Almost straight away. Yeah. Uh, he, he, so, he, he, he's told, oh, you're going to stay in autopilot. We're going to control you from the ship. Yeah. And then he, he goes into manual and they're like, you fucking idiot. Yeah, you're already you're drifting off. Yeah. And then he starts drifting off, of course. And he lands. Of course, on, of course. Uh, <laughs> He lands on a, a sort of dodgy planet called Mora, which seems to be the favoriten of this uh, universe. Yeah. No, he, he doesn't land on Mora. He, oh, no. He, he lands on Umbria. The, the, he lands on the rock. Ah, oh, but Umbria is such a nice place in real oh, life. Or, Isn't that like a part of Italy where it's, oh, yeah, right. it's like lovely wine? No, no, no. Oh, he was supposed to go to Umbria. That's oh, the, and he gets yeah. sucked off into it. Yeah. Sucked off. <laughs> He, he gets sort yes, of yes, swept away, yeah. shall we say. To, yeah, swept uh, off his feet, yes. Mora. Yeah, while being sucked off to Mora, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought I wouldn't go to Mora. My, my yeah. granddad's second wife is called Mora. She's a terrible woman, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to land on her. Yeah. Um. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so, so he lands on Mora, gets captured immediately by yeah. some shady folks. Okay, they actually look like Catholic priests with candlesticks. <laughs> So obviously, as an Irish person, I was terrified. It's a horrible Catholic priest. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of guns, but they just look like candlesticks. Yeah, yeah, they're they 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 are special underbarrel laser weapon kind of designs. I, I think they're very unique in the way they look, but non-threatening at all. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, like like. A broadsword is way more threatening than this little piece of thing. But we already saw it in action and that it can actually disintegrate a person immediately. Oh, okay. But no, it has yeah. the Star Trek options as well, like stun and then kill uh-huh, and stuff okay. like that. Yeah, so it's a multi-use tool as well. And of course, yeah. Yeah, and the, 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 they, they capture him with those... The priests capture. <laughs> let's, the just, let's, just keep, let's just keep, yeah. call them, keep calling them priests. Yeah. The priests capture the guy and bring him in for interrogation and then 
Well, yeah, this is the thing. They 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 squeeze all the information out of him with this torture device. Yeah. That looks, it's it's sort of it, it, these sort of. Um, they look like uh, those clicky clack balls that you have on on a manager's desk sometimes. That yeah. The pendulum swingy things. I'm thinking more like um, oh, those sort of glass um, spheres. Spheres you get in a science lab. Oh yeah. What are no, they called? Uh, uh, oh, you mean the it's like a for, pet, something like that. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's, it's for 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 uh, something to to. Heat a liquid in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, what the hell are they called? But yeah. anyway, there's two of them. Yeah. They they are lowered down over his head, and then they come closer and closer to his and head. And they're forks they're, sticking out of them. Yeah, this is tiny forks. Uh, tiny little uh, forks that that seem to be able to um, like appetizer forks. It's like uh, f- uh, f- flames coming out of them, and I'm not sure what the threat is, but they go very close to his nose. So it's like, are so they going to set his nostril hair on fire? Yeah, no, no. no. Are I they think that melt was his a, earwax. I think it's a perspective burn thing. His chin. It's a perspective thing, though. Yeah. Yeah, because the special effect was just white stripes that they put on the on yeah. the screen basically yeah. every now and then so it gives this uh, flickering effect very 1960s oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. it's all practical nearly all <laughs> yeah. practical effects so and he he um they use it they explain what it is it's like a it's like a current basically that slowly or quickly depending on how mm-hmm. much you want to torture somebody can uh yeah put agonizing pain into your body and then you die at some point uh, again so I that I missed that bit of the exposition and I thought they yeah. were gonna set fire to his nostril hair <laughs> it's a hair removal tool it's yeah. Turkish we don't <laughs> yeah. we don't have it over here yeah. go to Istanbul we, yeah we just we just have a really long grown nostril hair here in, in middle Europe we should really really look into that it's amazing technology and yeah he he's being co- coerced into coerced coerced mm-hmm. yeah into um uh, like giving the position of his crash site basically so mm-hmm. they can pick him up again because uh, the evil guy really really wants that ship oh yeah yeah he's 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 hard for that ship like yeah 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 a hard ship he's sort of yeah he's sitting on this like Bad rather time. luxurious looking swivel chair oh yeah surrounded by the letter C and again about seven Catholic priests yeah. with candlesticks. <laughs> yeah. You know. C um, is for Kant. <laughs> and Catholicism. Yes. Oh, right. Yeah, that was, was the more... Yeah, it's, the, it's the same thing. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Whew. Moved myself, wriggled myself yeah, out yeah. of that one. <laughs> I love to dig myself hole and, holes and then just trying to climb out. Yeah, so... Yeah, continue. So then what happens? Let me check my notes. Oh yeah, you took a bunch of notes. I took a lot of notes. Yeah. Um, I think they, 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 they talk with the with Alistair. He talks with Alistair. Oh, he's trying to get McLean to... Yeah, they get him to... They, they sort of convince him to convince McLean to come to Mora as yeah. well. Yeah. Because that way these evil guys, the Catholic Church, can take control of the ship. Yeah. Because the Catholic Church... Really want to, wants. They really want to get on the ship, yeah. and they've been they've been put here as a punishment, as yes. far as I remember. It's kind yeah, of it's a, like again, it's, it's like a strafe colony, like yeah, a, like a penal Austra- colony, yeah, yeah, like Australia, like or Australia, Sabi- like Australia, 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 or Siberia, yeah, basically. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and and they 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 are put there, and they they can't leave, and their only way to leave is to you know steal a ship, basically. And they yeah. they are very lucky in that. He even they even talk about that it's very lucky that they got the Orion, one of the m- most modern ships yeah. out there, especially because it's, it's, it's modern because Alistair uh, and McLean, all, uh, like this is the sixth or seventh iteration of that sh- spaceship because he destroyed all the other ones <laughs> in daring ways to rescue the Earth. He always, he always fucks up the ship. In, in, in other episodes, is it always like uh, some stupid author on board that causes no, 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 okay. no. This is the first time they okay. yeah, deviate. Yeah, yeah. They they very much deviate from the formula in this one. It's very interesting. I like it. I am. Um, but but at least this time, 
they don't destroy the ship. Maybe that's right. why they, they go so they didn't do crazy the, with I think the, the they didn't drinking, do, the I celebrating think that they finally didn't ruin the ship. I think it's the second episode that they didn't do that. But yes, uh-huh. yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> I think they're already there on the third ship when the show so starts. So up a lot of costs. For the, yes, uh, yes. That's also why the, the, the government doesn't like him. Uh-huh, okay. the, 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 Fair enough. If, yeah, yeah. If a naval commander destroyed seven... You know, battleship carriers. You'd yeah. be a bit annoyed. Yeah, like that. Oh, come on, <laughs> yeah, it's McLean. the seventh. Like, McLean. but at that point, shame on you for still giving them ships. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is like true. if you give a child like a gun, give him an early retirement package. Yes, you know? yes, that, that <laughs> <laughs> he would be. Let him go and live by the sea. But somewhere. he did save Earth like a bunch of times already. Okay, so right. like it, it evens itself out, I guess. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it's not going to destroy the, the economy by just blowing up ships. You're actually creating jobs at that point because they have to rebuild those ships. Like the, he's a job, he's a true job creator in the yeah uh, in the in the real sense. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he's not o- not only a, a, a hero in the classical sense, but also in the eco- economical sense. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So they get um, and when they they. they land on on the planet they they are being um again they're just taken the catholic church comes takes them to the interrogation you're powerless against the catholic church that's the message here (laughs) every irish person has always known yeah yeah that's a that's just a it's a fact yeah it's a truth yeah 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 like jesus and and the 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 holy trinity it's all true (laughs) yeah it's all truths (laughs) and yeah he he they they are now captured and McLean is interrogated and he plays for time. Mm-hmm. In the meantime, the girls escape. Yeah, yeah they, they use their um, the best ruse, feminine wiles the to best ruse. trick a young man into to sort of coming into their cell. Was it feminine wiles though? Well, I don't this know. This guy, I don't know. He, he, I don't know if he'd ever even seen a woman. He was probably born in the penal colony. Oh yeah. But wait, no. How could he have been born in the penal colony? <laughs> the, yeah. I don't know. Future. He's he's pretty. Uh, There's one. Easily, it, you know, he's 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 easily convinced by them because it's like being in an all boys boarding school. It's yeah. Not every day. Yeah. That these sexy like, 60s, but 1960s But there, there, there would have been like a ten percent chance that he was gay. Yeah. Yeah. So. But he falls for it. He falls for it. Oh, yeah. He goes he, in and yes. they overpower him. They take his candlestick. Yeah. <laughs> so he's nothing without his candlestick. Yeah, the church is Then they go and uh, release some other prisoners. And yeah. No, uh, and the, the girls give, give the candlestick to the other male prisoners because, you know, they're only women. So yeah, yeah. They, you know, they wouldn't have to As, as soon as they have a male around that is like, oh, one of theirs. Yes, yes, please. Yeah. They have the power. <laughs> It's still uh, nice to see that the girls started the, the yeah. breakout because the writer could have t- done the same thing with the two guys, basically. The yeah, ruse was... was um, the ruse was um, compatible with every sex. True. Because yeah. the, the ruse was just hiding outside of the view... Oh, of the part, camera. Yeah, yeah, of the camera and saying that he escaped <laughs> and just hoping that the other person is an idiot who mm. goes in alone... Oh, such a such a such a stupid man. Well, yeah. the, there's the evil guy. His his. Um... But it really feeds into the henchmen are are idiots. Cliche. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's no smart henchman no, the only ever. Smart guy is is the main evil man. Yeah. Who I I think he's he what he's like, he was a scientist back on Earth. Yes. He did some terrible experiments with rays who endanger thousands and thousands of people's lives yeah. to, to develop a new weapon system. He's like Mengele or something. Yeah, well... Mm. And, and, and this, this planet, Mora, is like Argentina. Okay, yeah, I can, I can see that, except for <laughs> that he didn't chose, in this case, to go to Argentina. True, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he was forced to go to Argentina. Yeah. So it doesn't quite work. No, yeah, 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 that, yeah the, the Nazi thing is missing from the whole thing, basically, because, again, this is... A f- only a few decades well not even a few decades it's what yeah 20 years yeah. after the war so they're still they still don't want to talk about that no. like that they could have done in at several occasions mm-hmm. already but they didn't yeah so eh. but he wants to he actually he's very un-german 
he wants to defect to yeah. the frogs. Yes. And the frogs are these evil aliens. aliens. And yes. he wants to take the Ori- Orion. Yeah. Uh, Orion. Just spaceship. say Orion. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. And he wants to take it and go with it to the frogs. Yes. Which I presume is some kind of like, on a subliminal level, it's like this sort of inherent German hatred of the French people. <laughs> you know, I didn't think about that. Francophobia the, is yeah, alive and well right. in 1960s well, German they, you sci-fi don't, you, you don't, drama. They, <laughs> they, they, you, they, don't have, they have humanoid shape, I guess. But uh, the, the, some French people look, have a humanoid shape, shape as well, yeah. <laughs> Occasionally, yeah. Mainly they, not not yeah. in the case of like Ger- nowadays Gerard Depardieu because <laughs> no. he actually looks like a frog now. He does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a frog that loves licking Vladimir Putin's hole. Yeah. yeah. Well, it is a delicious hole. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's doing it's, it these days. It's, it's, it's very it's, a la mode these yeah. days. <laughs> <laughs> there's a wait. There's a there's like a a vanilla ice cream ball there. That's a la mode, right? Oh, I don't know. Pie a la mode is with I think with a ice cream ball I just top. meant it it's everybody's <laughs> doing it Donald Trump oh yeah Orban yeah mm. uh, again that he is of those guys the best looking Putin is definitely the best looking of those guys is he quite short yeah that doesn't matter I'm short too okay I'm I'm, I'm not good looking but come on you're I'm, a beautiful man oh Paul. thank you don't let thank anyone ever tell you oh this. thank you Sam you're, 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 you're quite handsome yourself <laughs> for an oh, Irishman he's put his hand on my knee oh my god <laughs> um, um, <laughs> but wait we, we're getting sidetracked yes we need that's to, normal for the podcast we need to finish this, this, this plot yeah this, this intricate and difficult plot oh, it's, very, it's very hard <laughs> <laughs> so they they escape except for McLean and uh, the, mm. the artist yeah. they escape to the Oran but they mm-hmm. can't they, they won't start and the engineer has the plan to just overcharge the whole ship so that uh, it's gonna uh, explode in 15 minutes and exploit that fact to uh, make the, the evil guy release mm-hmm. his prisoners mm-hmm. which he does yes but very he, easily and it's all very suspicious you're like oh, yeah. well, he's, he's did that very very easily. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. There must be something going on, and there is. Yes, yes. Plot twist. Out. Yeah, there's the Raumfalle, which we've seen in operation yeah. already. Yeah. There's basically this force field, a little bit uh, in the, you know, in the orbit of the, the Mura. Yeah, exactly. That prevents the ship from being able to by to by, by go out using the up the the, the 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 energy of the start sequence itself to you to create a counter push, yeah. which is. You know, quite ingenious. Yeah. It is techno babble, but it is quite ingenious. Yeah. <laughs> so Especially for 1966, this is a smart plan. So, and we we see a kind of um, visualization of this, and it's like the, the sort of the spaceship just looks like a little mushroom that's trying to escape, of bounce yeah. up, but it gets repelled by the force field and pushed back down. Hits back down onto yeah. Moha. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, and then the evil guy comes along and he's like, ha-ha, foiled. Yeah. <laughs> the little pricks. Yes, uh, aluminum then... foiled again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, ooh, then what happens? Well, uh, well, he, McLean, quickly thinks of another plan, uh, which he doesn't discuss really with his, with his crew. No. <laughs> which would have been a grand idea, <laughs> but he goes... They they get boarded by the by by the, by the Catholic Church yeah um with the candlesticks again yeah. and McLean first thinks of oh his first plan he actually tells the crew that he has a gun and he wants to be alone with the the main main villain so yeah. he can like in like coerce him into uh, letting them leave um but that doesn't work because he's a genius the evil guy yeah, he's quite a smart and he man. thought about that gun. So he has to give up the, the candlestick mm-hmm. to the Catholic Church. Yeah. They collect it, collect it and then they uh, show... Um, McLean wants to um, demonstrate a starting sequence so that mm-hmm. his crew, the crew of the Catholic Church, don't <laughs> blow... Because they are not good with technology. No, the, the, the Catholic Church has never been very good with technology. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Pope Francis is on Twitter these days, I think. Yeah, no, not he. He didn't start the Twitter thing though. That was his predecessor. 
Oh, Ratzinger. Yeah, Ratzinger. What's, what was his? Uh, Pope Benedict. Yeah, yeah, the one that retired. Yeah, Ratzi. Yeah, 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 yeah. As we in ineffectual call him. Yeah, no, I don't think Irish people ever warm to Ratzi. Nobody we, we warms. John Paul II. Though. Nobody warms to If you go into to any Razzi. house in Ireland, oh, uh, any house, you'll see um, Jesus Christ. Yes. Then you'll see uh, John Paul II. Yeah. And then finally, who do you think? Uh, I don't know. The third most important man in Ireland. Uh, uh, the guy who... who, who, who oh, uh, of course. Um, the guy who, who, who got rid of all the snakes. Oh, St. Patrick. No. <laughs> so it's Jesus Christ, John Paul II and John F. Kennedy. Oh. First Irish Catholic president of right, the United States. Right, right. And that's the Holy Trinity okay. in Ireland. <laughs> Genuinely. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. many houses. Make, this is well, the, Paul II Imagine was three. a cool dude for his time. He was still yeah. very conservative. Yeah. It's, well, he's a pope. I had a lovely pink face all the same. Yeah, but he got shot. Like He's like a gangster at that point. He got shot, like, what, yeah. three times? And he's, and he's like... Yeah. And I'm going to wash my, my, my attacker's feet in prison because I can. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he just had a foot fetish. <laughs> like... Like most Catholics do. Yeah. <laughs> the foot washing oh, thing yeah. is really weird. Um... <laughs> Wash your face. I don't know. <laughs> Get a nice haircut. I, yeah. That that would have been a way better religion. If like your 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 way of showing your 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 um demut. Um, oh, um, your, um, yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah. What's the English word? Oh. Um, Con conviction or something. No, like this. no, 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 like no, no, no. If you if you're submissive, humble, you're humble. yeah, uh, your humbleness basically. Well, yeah, humbleness. I was gonna say humbility. Yeah. Humbility, yeah. Humbility, no I like words. it too. Yeah, <laughs> I have a humility factor of five. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Could go up though. Um, yeah. So so he. <laughs> oh, we got distracted again. <laughs> We've got very distracted. foiled again. Um, yeah, and Cliff quickly thinks of another plan. Yes. Which is to. Uh, make up shit basically mm -hmm. distract the the, the the new crew mm -hmm. and the evil guy from his nefarious plan mm -hmm. and he even co like gets information out of him that he shouldn't have given him like yeah. why do why do he need does he need the, the force field specifications yeah because all he could have done is just turn off the fucking force field to start yeah that's true yeah but no <laughs> he, he expends a he expends another lancet, so he expends yeah. another side chip. Yeah. Blasts that out. That flashes into the force field, and that creates a little, very short window of opportunity For, through which yeah. the Orion can travel. Yeah. And then they're they're sucking diesel. They're on their way. Yeah, and then they do a, a quick uh, uh, reserve energy push, which mm. uh, the inertial dampeners don't work at that time. Mm. So you, everybody falls down, and then we have a really exciting fighting oh, scene. Oh yes, so many karate chops. Yes, just everybody karate chopping <laughs> everybody else. But thank God the Catholic Church are no good at karate. Yes, and, and our heroes are very oh, good at karate. That, that would explain why why Shubashi was was so good. Atan. I'm actually yeah, just Atan was really yeah, good. He's very good. Yeah, yeah. The Japanese man that doesn't look Japanese. At yeah, all. He, he's yeah, he's very German. <laughs> but yeah, the, then there's then they all start getting absolutely wasted celebrating. But yeah. What 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 even became of the evil guy and his Catholic? Oh, henchmen? they 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 put them into cryo sleep. Ah. Okay. The Kälte Schlafkammer. Super. Yeah. Kälte Schlafkammer. <laughs> yeah. Cryo sleep. Terrifying. Yeah, they put them in cryo sleep so they can't escape, which is yeah, yeah. An, a nice imprisoning system when you're on a spaceship. And they all just have a load of whiskey. Yeah, yes, yeah. like amazing. And they got the author shit faced. <laughs> like the, the rest of the crew is just laughing, but he's actually piss ass he drunk. He falls off his chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then and we then have a last scene. Then we have a last scene. Yes, and then we have a last scene mm -hmm. where they. Um, talk with the minister and the admiral mm. who are anxious to finally hear back from them because yeah, they were on... Seven days later? Seven, 17 days seven. Later. seven. No, he was talking about that he already went missing before and oh, it was 17 yeah, yeah, days yeah, yeah, and yeah. then he was like cheery and yeah. like he, he, he asked about my, my blood pressure level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is, you know, a really cool thing to do. When you're when you're on a spaceship, but yeah, the minister is very anxious about his his uh, son-in-law. Yeah, says, I want to speak to my son-in-law, and he's like, and no. Says, oh no, it's not possible. Why yeah. not? He's in his cabin. Why is he sick? No, he's just pissed drunk, drunk as a skunk. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's the end of the episode. Yeah. Everybody has a big laugh, except yeah. for the minister. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Great plot, right? Um, I think we didn't miss anything. We, we covered everything. No, we yeah, pretty we, we, much got yeah. It. yeah, so let's move on to the next thing, and that's cinematography. Cinematography, right. Yes. Because this is a, again, like the, the previous episodes, black and white, yeah. with a lot of practical effects. Yeah. Um, a lot of world building just through, through, through the design and everything, I mm. think at least. Yeah. And um, most of the stuff I have seen already. Mm -hmm. So anything that just pops to your mind? Um, it reminded me an awful lot of um, Doctor Who. The oh. 1970s Doctor Who. All right, you know, all right. Uh, with, so we um, were, we were, technology wise, we were. The Germans were ahead. Yeah, yeah at least a decade ahead. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yes, German engineering, my my <laughs> hair. <laughs> um, how's yeah. my how's my offensive German accent, by the way? That's great. Yeah, uh. it's excellent. Yeah. <laughs> you just put a ja or something at the end, and then you're golden, basically. Yeah. And you make it as annoying as possible. It is kind of annoying, isn't it? I, yeah. much prefer, I must say I much prefer the Austrian... Yeah, it, it's, it's more melodic. It is very yeah. melodic. But I'm also really kind of passive-aggressive at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we, 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 we... Like, our language um, was basically a derivation of German because we didn't want... We, we wanted to sound bitchy but friendly at the same time. Yeah. I, I like to think that there there must be a bit of a like Czech and Hungarian and Italian. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no well. we have like especially Viennese has a bunch of Jewish and mm. and 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 um, yeah, Jewish expressions, I, especially I, Jewish workers' expressions like uh, yeah. Meshugana and yeah, stuff it's like, like that. Yeah, like a joke, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and stuff like that. So so we have because German was very much even <clears throat> especially Prussia was more hom homogenized yeah, yeah, yeah. in its makeup than the Austrian-Hungarian Empire because we had 16 different languages or 20 different languages yeah, sure. in total. We, 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 we had... Vienna was... had a workforce made up from all over our... Well, it's interesting. Our, like, our here we are in the, in, the, in the 16th district, Otakring, yeah. recording this, and uh, I read that up until the 1930s, any Austrian policeman stationed in Otakring yeah. had to speak Czech. Just oh yeah, had to because yeah. otherwise they wouldn't know no. what the hell was going on. Yeah, so really the, 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 so the whole thing about oh the the it was everything was better in the Austrian Hungarian yeah. Empire or something yeah. like that, and and we we like people spoke German back then. No bullshit, no. bullshit. More people speak German nowadays <laughs> yeah. in Austria than ever before. I love all these uh, these these Czech second names that you see. Yeah, Hlutska yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. Sluka, yeah, Novak, yeah. Great, great names, great yeah, names, yeah, yeah. definitely. No, it, it's generally there was a lot of intersection, especially with the Czech. Yeah. Well, Hungarians as well. But I know that the Czechs were kind of the third ranking. Yes. Sort of uh, grouping in the empire. Yeah, it's Austria, Hungary, Czech Republic. Well, yeah, yeah. not Republic back then. Yeah, the Czechs. <laughs> the Czech yeah, yeah. Uh, part of uh, Poland. Yeah. That's why you have a lot of Krakow. Uh, yeah, Kr Krakow. Yeah, Krakow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah. I I was the best man at a Polish wedding. Oh, yeah. how was that? So good. But did it last about three days? Was there vodka on every table? Uh, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Not only on every table, like multiple bottles. I finished, I think, a whole bottle of vodka by myself <laughs> because there were like two hundred relatives, and everybody everybody wanted to get to know me. So <laughs> what you do for an introduction? You go there with a cousin that translates for you. Oh yeah. And then yes. you take a shot. <laughs> And, but that was, I actually survived the whole thing because there were like 12 courses and every course was something else mm -hmm. deep fried with potatoes oh, and stuff lovely. like that. Yeah, no, the food was amazing. Like, I didn't know there were so many iterations of deep fry that makes <laughs> oh, it different. Scotland, different. Man. They yeah, yeah. Deep fry everything. Yeah, Snickers. I know. That's the big thing, right? Where, where oh, everybody yeah. talks about it. Snickers, talks about Mars about, bars, uh, yeah. king ribs. What? Fish. Deep fried king ribs? Yeah. Why? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I had it recently. Is it good? Oh, beautiful. Lovely? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. And they, they, they then drown it in a mix of brown sauce, 
vinegar. Daddy's favorite brown sauce? And um, something else. You mean daddy's favorite brown sauce? What does that mean? <laughs> it sounds kind of terrifying. Well, it's oh, a, a Brits uh, identified it as a as a British staple. Oh, it's just like HP brown sauce. Yeah, oh, okay, just... yeah, yeah. That is is a, a fan, apparently. Oh, so it's a brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. No, no. That's what. Then you're being weird. Like, yeah. mm, that is his favorite brown, brown sauce. sauce. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> that would have actually been something like from 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 <laughs> Alabama or something like yeah. that. Yeah, we like to. God, how did we yeah. end up here? I don't we know. We were talking about cinematography, right? Yes. <laughs> so, um, I think the the shots were framed again very well. You yeah, always yeah. knew what was going on, yeah. what is happening. You always saw the people who were talking to each other. I yeah. thought, I thought, for example, the the the, the scene where where McLean gets interrogated and he starts sweating. It was yeah. the lighting was amazing because mm. you saw the villain just the head when he turned off the light yeah. it was just his head illuminated and you didn't see anything from mm. from the waist down okay it's catholic church it's black suits but yeah. still though it's <laughs> i thought that was uh, made him like a god because it's just a hovering head mm -hmm. and he speaks down to him and he you they they framed the shots from uh, every time you saw the villain basically from the viewpoint of McLean. Mm -hmm. Like from oh, the side up. a bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. looking up. And I thought that was very well done. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 I love that one. Just from like, a you know, artistic like it, standpoint. It, obviously it was black and white. Yes. But it, you know, if it was color, it would just be brown because it was the 60s. So everything right. was brown anyway. Well, so. you have Star Trek at the same time, which was very colorful. Oh, yeah, that's true. But, yeah. but also German design. I don't know. In the nineteen sixties, we, well, we had colors too that back then. So uh, it was the hippie movement started. God, when up. I was a child, I yeah. thought that like uh, in the olden days, there just was no color in the world at all. Oh, that's 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 a regular misconception <laughs> yeah. because you see film and everything, and photos are black and white. I used to have such a hatred of black and white films. I remember, like when I was twelve years old, I was probably too old, but I I had a voucher. Yeah. For a video shop, and I wanted to get uh, Bugs Bunny. So I was probably too old to want yeah. to look at Bugs Bunny. And my dad went to the video shop with me and wouldn't let me get Bugs Bunny. He was like, no, get Casablanca instead. And he made me watch Casablanca. Hey. And I resented him so much. Oh, yeah. But obviously now, I get that. I'm like, yeah, obviously Casablanca is better than fucking Bugs, Bugs Bunny. But, mm, you know, at the time. They're totally different animals, though. Yeah, true. <laughs> one is a rabbit, one it's are Nazis. To compare, the, <laughs> to compare the two. But yeah. I did resent him for oh, yeah. no, many years afterwards. My dad. Really stunted our relationship. My dad wanted to watch Formula One mm. once, and on the other channel because we only had two, we had yeah. RF One and RF Two, and TV ends. But fuck that channel; it's yeah, just yeah. weather. <laughs> um, he he actually, and I, I I wanted to watch a VHS, and he's like, no, we we're gonna watch TV, and we're gonna watch Formula One. But I'm like, no, I want to watch something different. And he's like, okay, and switched to the other channel, and it was Sissy which we already oh, covered yes. and this I was like so 11 or something like mm -hmm. that back then and so I hated it <laughs> hated so it so you're now a massive so I left so he could continue watching <laughs> Formula 1 oh, in, in, back in my mind I was like nowadays I'm like oh, that was a genius a stroke of yeah. genius on his part like the manipulation and everything that you have to do to convince somebody that, that it's that there are options but the other option is shit <laughs> Even worse, so yeah. And um, yeah, something something else that 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 um, you, you. So yeah, I've 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 a lot of friends who studied film studies, but I must say that I'm I'm pretty pig ignorant when it comes to like you know <laughs> shots and uh, you know like framing and all. This. Oh like, okay, yeah. And I think I, would I any of the special effects that you that you liked, like the well, starting I the, the torture device that looked like it was going oh, to yeah. set fire to his nostril hair. Yeah, I don't the, know why I'm so obsessed with that. I think it's sound. because I, I feel like a bit concerned that I have nostril hair that is visible at the moment. Oh yeah, my, my I dad has. So I bought this thing for my dad in Tiger. You know this shop, this Danish like shop. They they just sell a whole lot Tiger? of shit you never knew you needed. Tiger. Tiger, yeah. T i g e r. Yeah, 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 Tiger. yeah like the cat, like the big. Cat. I know there was Tiger Electronics, which was a, a manufacturer of cheap. Uh, LCD games back in the 90s no, 80s is, and 90s this is like Ikea light 
or something. Ah. Very small. You it, wait, in, but only in Ireland, right? No, no, all over the world. There's not in Austria, company. though. We don't not have tigers. We don't Maybe have tigers in Austria. in Austria. In Italy, they certainly have it. Ah, okay. But um, they just sell all kinds of things. But I, I got my dad this device. Oh, is it like butlers? Uh, we have butlers here. Well, it went bankrupt. It's just full of pointless stuff. Yeah, but okay, I, so it's butlers. I, yeah. So I went in and I bought this device for my dad. It was three euro or something, or maybe four maximum. Mm -hmm. And it was. It looked like um, it looked like one of those things that you'd light a gas oven with. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Except it, it instead of a flame, it was like a, a kind of a blade on the top of it, and you shoved it up your nose, and it would uh, chop your nostril hair. I have something like that. And I I don't know what it's actually called, but I refer to it as the nose twizzler. And I got it from my dad as a joke, and he never used it. And then I yeah. started using it. And really, at the moment, I feel like I could do with using it again. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe that's why I was really fascinated by this torture device. Oh, yeah, yeah, because in... it looked like that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. I, I can see that. And yeah. it was fun. No, that, that the torture device was definitely yeah. le like um, the two balls that come together. Yeah, slowly coming yeah, yeah. closer to the person's face. And yeah, like... Obviously very hot. They get yeah. very hot and bothered and sweaty. Isn't, isn't, there, isn't there a word for that when you, when you put... Put your your ball sack on somebody else's face. Oh, teabagging. Yeah, he. Yeah, he, basically, it was the science fiction version of teabagging somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Only it's but not humiliation, but death. Yeah. In this case. Yeah. <laughs> um, because as gruesome as it is to put your balls on somebody else's yeah. face, in the end. Except for emotional damage, there's nothing else. No. You can't hurt somebody with your balls. No. Really. No, you can't. Yeah, that that would actually be a feat. Yeah. At that point, like They're very soft. Yeah, so. uh, balls of steel, actual <laughs> steel, <Yeah. laughs> like clang clang, and knock somebody off. I think it's far easier to hurt somebody's balls than for somebody's balls to hurt you. Oh yeah, that's yeah. very philosophical too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ball philosophy with Sam and Paul. <laughs> I actually went out with a girl who used to always uh, sack me for a joke. She used to punch me in the the balls so i don't know if i'm even capable of making children oh after that, so, yeah uh, you know yeah yeah what you do for love we'll see or sex or both <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> getting punched in the dick or not having sex hmm <laughs> yeah that's that's a hard or very soft decision depending <laughs> on on what your sexual preferences are <laughs> all right let's move on and that's the next point and that's a sound sound yeah i loved the music the theme tune is one of the best things i've ever heard yeah it's I great think. right i mean reggie also liked it it's yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's 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 catchy so it pumps you up yeah it especially for 1966 and a yeah. tv show in germany this must have been sounded like like should, should we hum it together yeah it of course and i'll join in because i kind of forget already mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, very enjoyable. Ah, so good. Look at again. I can't stress this enough. I did it the last time. Clubs. Go, go to YouTube. Look at it. Mm -hmm. If an, any artist, this musical artist, is listening to this, make a remix of this. Oh, that's an un <coughs> that's an untapped market right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Even I don't know. Remix it with Star Trek, I guess. Yeah. That would have been. That would be great, actually. Yeah. I would. I want to see a medley played between this and Star Trek. This is. You could have a bit of Star Wars in there as well, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get all the stars bum, in there. Bum, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Actually, I'd, dun, love dun, be, dun, dun. I'd, I'd love to be buried to that tune because you know there's this funeral song that's like. Wait, bum, the Star Wars bum, or the Ram Patrol Yeah, yeah. Bum, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'd love to have that start and then go. Bum, 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 oh, the Star, bum, yeah, bum, Star Wars thing, yeah. Going to the, Star the Imperial, Wars thing. The, the Imper Imperial March. And maybe, like, if it was possible, have my coffin just pop open. Yeah, with a lightsaber. That would be great. Like, <laughs> I'd love a really funny funeral. Yeah, me too. I, I already planned it all out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Tell me more. <laughs> Tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> Tell me more about my own death. Okay, all right. When do you plan to die? Uh, like, uh, past 100. I want to I wanna okay. go, go past 100 just because. You get money all, from the government when you hit 100. No, but you get... Ireland, a, you get like 1,000 euro when you hit 100. Really? It's like, well done, fair play. The mayor visits you. 
Really? Yeah. Oh my God, Michael Weibel. No, he'll probably that's... still be the mayor. Of <laughs> that's a that's a solid Vienna joke. That's a solid <laughs> Vienna joke. He's gonna be just eighty percent wine at that yeah. point. <laughs> oh my God, I'd love to have his job. I'd love to have his job. All he does is eat schnitzel and cut ribbons and eat wine. And he's, he's a very a cap- he's a very capable leader. Lovely, white, let's let's white be honest. Mustache. Vienna is one of the most lovely love. It's one of his achievements too that Vienna is the modern hub of Central Europe that it is. Yeah. With with without him, I don't know. He's what... listening to this show. He was momentarily very angry. Yeah, yeah. And, and now he's okay. And then, and then, then he starts fine. to get erect and start starts <laughs> yeah. slowly to masturbate like, to this. He's just slowly. Michael, you're 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 you're, f- you're our, our favorite. Yeah. I the only thing too. that I want more is that they <laughs> clone you. And, and you should put him in a, your, in a what your chiro chiro chironic sleep. Yeah, cryogenic. Cryogenic. Cry- sleep. Cry- so what what did you say? Chiro- oh, chironic. I don't know. <laughs> Is the chiropractor like it's a, it's a chamber and they yeah, massage no, your back? Maybe we should like preserve Michael Heupel as he is now oh, that would be and great. just hope that science in the future will be able to you know either replicate make him, him immortal. Either that or make him immortal, yeah. Yeah. No, I think every city... Maybe he's already every, immortal. Every city deserves a Michael Heupel. Yeah. I want cloning. Yeah. Yeah, I want, I want, I want 20 Michael Heupels he's everywhere. Just such a Wiener. Ch- 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 yes, he's very he Wiener. He's the Ur Wiener. No, no, the Ur Wiener is something else. Oh, yeah? Definitely, yeah. He's too well educated to he's be the really, Urwiener. Yeah, he's this sort of intellectual... Yeah, he has a, he, he has a, he has a master's degree in biology. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a he's actually a very smart man. Yeah, they, yeah. People love to make fun of him, but that's what's happened when you when you're in office that long. Oh my God, Twenty that, years in Ireland, so in Dublin, the the mayor changes every year. So for me, <laughs> that someone will be the mayor for twenty years because of like scandals or, or no 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 no, it's just the way it is. Oh okay. <laughs> and he, the mayor has no power. I mean, I, I don't even know who the mayor is. No one really? knows. Oh wow! It's no just a cares. just a yeah crony position basically, basically yeah. oh that's sad yeah. oh that's why I didn't didn't they didn't tell me when I was in Dublin who the mayor is <laughs> yeah. like pff, we don't know let's yeah. go to Abracababra <laughs> <laughs> nice Irish pool very good Irish show yeah so Abracadabra. I hate that thing <laughs> I went there once and it was horrible really shitty kebab but I was spoiled by Viennese kebab already yeah we have pretty decent kebab they to do good excellent cheeseburgers. to excellent really they do, you have yeah. to get to Abracababra to get a well i was i was stunned back then by the mega mac oh from supermax no no from some from mcdonald's they had a big oh. mac with four slices of meat in there Whoa. yeah the mega mac that passed me by God. yeah it was like 6 euros back then i think oh without God. a menu and that was ooh 2006 I think, mm. or 2005, mm. that I was there. So, count in but 10%. Clearly that's when Ireland was at its absolute height. We'll it, never reach oh yeah. those heights again. Well, you pushed yourself. You doped to a, to a degree that wasn't wasn't healthy. That's why you crashed so hard. <laughs> we did crash very Like, hard. I actually, I, I know a guy who was a multi-millionaire in and Ireland. then lost it all. Oh. He, he had a, 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 a construction company and he put uh, all his money in there and he like th- he made fist over hand is that the expression money money fist over hand yeah i think it is an expression yeah he, like he made a shit ton of money yeah yeah and we went on a tangent again man let's we go did, back yeah, let's go we back to the sound let's sounds. go back to the sound yeah yes i loved the um and they they they, they do, did iterations this time of the main theme during the show, which They're jazzy, really jazzy tunes, yes, the karate chopping sequence, yes, and the, and the escape escape scene had yeah. a more tension building main theme. I thought that was excellently done, and I I don't know if it happened before in one of the previous episodes, but this is the one where I really started to notice that they yeah. re reused in a very smart way reused the main theme, and the rest of the the sound design at least for 1966 was pretty well done as well. Yeah. like you had the start effects you had the swooshing through through space yeah, effect general kind of spacey yeah. sounds were good yeah the robot yeah. voice was pretty cool yes the female who did a robot voice was pretty cool yeah at the start sequence Fünf, yeah vier, <laughs> yeah. Drei, yeah like zwei, like we couldn't afford eins. an actual robot to speak so <laughs> we just hired a, had a german woman. yes 
So, so a regular German woman. Yes, a <laughs> German woman. Boom! Take that, Germans. Yeah. yeah. Third biggest listenership. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Um, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah. So l just listen to the soundtrack. If you don't want to watch the show, if you're not into German science, German Austrian science fiction. Then just watch it. Or I mean, I was just I was listen to the of, to know, the soundtrack. I thought it is actually available on Amazon. I think you can I, actually I, I buy the soundtrack. I thought to myself like, uh, hmm, you know, I I thought I was gonna watch it like a Viennese uh, film or something. Oh yeah, sorry. Like ooh, German science fiction. But I must say, I within about five minutes, I was like, this is good. Yeah, I like this a lot. Okay, in this case, I'm so actually good. gonna throw the next time. I hope I'm gonna have you, have you on yeah, an, no, another time. Uh, there's the especially because you know the German language so well, so I can pick things. No, <laughs> compared to the Americans, come on. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> proximity apparently also causes <laughs> better language skills. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you are actually the first Irishman. Oh yeah, on the show. Well, enough. we have a we had a secret guest who was Irish, uh -huh. but he only like talked for a minute or something. Okay. So yeah, yeah. you're the first true, f first true Irishman. Yeah. Milad. <laughs> I think I'm doing Scottish right now. I'm not sure. <laughs> Racist. Uh, yeah. I mean, we've a lot in common with the Scots. I'd love if the Scots like a left hate the for the English and joined like a hate for the English. Yes. A hate for the English. A love of battered foods. Yes. A love for the a great value for, for the Catholic Church. Warmth. Oh no! See, they 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 have a weird sort of brand of Protestantism, but we won't talk about that. Well, but no, got, from all the from I think well, I think from all I, I think from all the from all the uh, uh, parts of Great Britain, they still have the highest percentage of of of, of, of Catholics. Yeah, that would make sense actually. They've got Celtic football, Celtic football yeah. club. Yeah, which has a shamrock as the symbol and see. So. Yeah, so actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. ha. Outsmarted you Absolutely. in your own field. Yeah. Boom! Just by deduction. Uh, <laughs> deduce this. Um, I wish Sherlock Holmes said that at any point. <laughs> like deduce this bitch or something like that, and I'm I'm out. <laughs> Mike Trump. Yeah. Yes. Well, you can't have everything. No. Um, but you can have your best moment. Best moments for me, um, oh God, let me think. I, I really enjoyed um, the evil guy. I enjoyed his oh, like, he, bulging eyes. He his eyes were he so played, bulging. He played the evil guy to the nines. I, I just he could have been he could have been any James Bond villain. Yeah, he absolutely could have. Yeah, yeah. I loved him. Well, they circling. casted Austrian, they casted Austrians and Germans like three yeah. times to be Bond villains. So. <laughs> 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 I always find that interesting, like that, you know, villains in American films. So they're usually one of three uh, nationalities. They're either British. What would you say the other two? Russian British? and German. Yeah, because these three yeah. countries are the three countries that have posed the biggest existential threat to the USA yeah. in, in, in history. Yeah. So, and you then know, you get, well, British you get colony. your rare Dr. No Japanese dude. Oh, I suppose, yeah, the Japs yeah. gave the... Very the rarely, though. Time. Very rarely, though. But, yeah, more so, yeah, Brits, Germans, Russians. Yeah, because... But, you know, yeah, the Brits, they used to belong to Britain, and they had the, the War of Independence and so on. And then the Germans, World War One, World War Two, and then the Russians, the Cold War. Yeah. It's, I find it really fascinating. Right. It's kind of, like, subconsciously... Um, that they know. still pick those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Although well, of course we, we now, don't, now we don't, American Russia are and we great don't, friends. but we don't know what his nationality is because again they are all played by Austrians and Germans, yeah. but they all are different nationalities in I the show. So, yeah. so this guy could have been like from I don't know Toboga or something like that, or from Mali, yeah, 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 yeah. or <laughs> a Maltese. That would have been, a Maltese villain would have been awesome. It, like in German or Austrian films, if there's a character who is American, do they ever speak? German and an American accent? Uh, like it happens. Okay. It's very rare. Because, you know, in a lot of, like, English language films, yeah. Germans all speaking English to each other. Yeah. And it's like, why are they speaking English to each other? It's oh, the, the, my, my, my favorite <laughs> my favorite thing about that is, um, um, what's his name? Uh, Alan Rickman in yeah. the first... Uh, Die Hard. In the first Die Hard. Or, it, it, as it's known in German, 
Die hart. Na, stirb langsam. Okay. Die slowly. Okay. Yeah. And he says in the American, well, in the original version, he says he's German. He's yeah. supposed to be East German. Yeah. And he says, she's das Fenster to the Austrian guy. And the Austrian guy doesn't understand him. And then he... <laughs> He used the wrong article and everything. She's das Fenster. What nope. should it be? She's den Fenster? She's das Fenster. Uh, wait, what did he say? She's... She's... Das Shoot the window. Yeah. Well, whatever. It was wrong. I know that it was wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he says, Shoot! The glass! <laughs> and the, the Austrian is like, Oh yeah, now I understand. And he starts shooting <laughs> everything. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Um... But my best moment, ooh, jeez, jeez, Louise. Um, I loved, of course, the the moment where the admiral said, "There's a strict non-alcohol policy yes. on the ship." Yes, and they're all getting absolutely trashed. At the same moment, I thought that was that was very, very well written and just funny. Some in in that in that very offbeat yeah. German way where they don't even acknowledge the joke, yeah. just let it let it sit there for yeah. f and and I think that in I don't know I have a special place in my heart for that kind of humor, um, and uh, the other the other best moment I think that that encapsulates like the the the. Um, the, the, your hatred for for the main the hatred for the main uh, for the for the writer was when he he starts to commandeer the the lancet oh yes and st stops using the stop the using autopilot, the, the autopilot yeah. i'm like oh you fucking idiot he was such a knob yeah i i wish he'd, yeah. he'd suffered more to be honest oh yeah but oh actually uh, one who threatened somebody threatened him said i'll drown you in a swimming pool full of gin Oh, he. What was that? No, he threatened the the the. McLean threatened the the main villain with that. Oh, I see. Because the yeah. villain just explained how the torture device works. Okay, yeah. And he's like, "No, I'm gonna one up you with gin, I guess." <laughs> so he has a hatred for gin. I think that's yeah. now a cliff 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 fact. <laughs> a cliff note. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> another another pun for you guys. <laughs> Bad one. <laughs> At your service, um, yeah, I thought that was was a really good moment, a, a best moment. Mm -hmm. I, th I thought, yeah, yeah. and ah, I still haven't figured out the secret category. Some some buy, uh, buying Bang for time. time. Yeah, so just talk about what I think. Let me think. This um, is the third time in a row that I couldn't think of a <laughs> immediately think of a, a, a secret category, which is. I'm, I love the, the props. You know, there's a lot of uh, water tops, shower heads, pencil sharpeners. Yeah, you pointed these out to me as we yeah. went along, and I, I really enjoyed. Yeah, the set design. The whoever the art director was had a lot of fun. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, I, I very much enjoyed that. Yeah. What else would I say that? Um. <laughs> um. Enjoyed the francophobia of the frogs as well. Right. I like to think that there's some kind of hatred of France at yeah. play there. Um, I loved the Ober Befails Haber. I loved his chin. It was just like so much um, flab there. Yeah, yeah, no, he... Really spectacular. Yeah. Like, I, I couldn't really listen to what he was saying. I was just mm -hmm. looking at his chin. Yeah. Um, uh, it was, you know, all in all, it was like a, a very pleasant experience watching this this Raumschiff uh, Orion. You know. All right, um, so I thought of something. You got the secret yeah, category. Yeah, I Brilliant. think so. Yeah, so um, I would call it a philosophy in space. Yeah, they like the exo, uh, like that that life originated on a, originated on another planet. That yeah. theory, then the the theory about the. Uh, about what is more cruel, putting mm -hmm. people on a on a on a on a on a on a colony yeah. where they can't escape, or putting them to death, all that stuff. Yeah. That was still pretty pertinent because the last return, like victims of the Second World, well, victims, yeah. prisoners of the Second World War from from Russia, they came back like 10, Late 50, 40s, 10 15 years later. Oh, was it way? Yeah, no, no, like. 
certain individuals like okay, most okay. of them came back immediately yeah, yeah. after but some of them got stuck there because yeah, yeah, Russian yeah. bureaucracy yeah non-existent yeah so they're like oh who is that guy I don't know just keep him here it's Siberia <laughs> oh, yeah. so um, yeah so I uh, I just wanted to 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 pick your brain what was the most intriguing thought piece in this well yes yeah, like i mean in general I, I i really enjoy these kind of um sci-fi these, these sort of um sci-fi programs and so on where yeah deep down it's it's making us think about our own planet so yeah i, I saw the most recent imitating star wars. life what was, what was the most recent uh, star wars called again the seven one, the, the oh, oh, you this, mean this this prequel? Yeah, 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 one. yeah, yeah. Rogue one. Rogue one, yeah. yeah. I actually found it very, very uh, touching. The very end of it, um, because I, it it made me think about Syria and so on. Yeah. You know, all these different planets. Clearly, the planets are a metaphor for different countries. Yeah. Who nobody and gives it made a me shit think about. about. Yeah, it made me think about Syria, and yeah. I felt this tremendous guilt. And the, the final sequence of Rogue one, I thought. I just never fucking think of Syria and I don't care most yeah. of the time. Yeah, like most people do. And uh, yeah, like I think it's so effective to, to, if you just have a little bit of distance from the real situation. Yeah. It can somehow be so much more effective than the, yeah. the actual Like thing. again, the prison colony was a really nice touch, I think, yeah. because it wasn't introduced to that point that yeah. the government just... The, Dumps these people. Yeah, 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 exactly. That was never. They were. They were always kind of portrayed as like a technocratic, egalitarian kind of deal, where mm. all the colonies share the same space and the, the, they have say in everything. And Earth is like the the protective mother or father yeah, figure, yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah. So I I thought that was that was quite intriguing, and also the madness that the that the the main villain had. In, 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 in that if if Earth doesn't give a shit about us, it's clearly logical to say like the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Yeah. Kind of that thing. And that it wasn't for him pertinent to like for him it wasn't wasn't a real uh he he didn't have to think about sacrificing the whole human race. Mm. Because for him this stopped existing because he's Yeah removed from that mm. it, 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 I suppose like briefly I did think of Guantanamo Bay right you know right but nah there's no torch on that planet so yeah yeah they don't yeah. they don't blare what was it uh, Barney the dinosaur for 72 hours yeah that was one yeah. of the interrogation oh, methods yeah, no, was, totally. yeah. yeah. Barney the Dinosaur too. I, I actually after I read the article, I listened to Barney the Dinosaur and I'm like, oh fuck you guys, fuck that, fuck this shit. Horrendous. Yeah, real shit. And Obama tried to close it, and Trump believes in torture. Trump thinks it's great. Yeah, he thinks it works. Yeah, which is bullshit. Yeah. Well, whatever. Hmm. It's called enhanced interrogation, anyways. Ha, yeah. ha, 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 ha. Mm. No, but yeah, so yeah, there, there was quite a few interesting pieces that you could think about in, yeah. in, in space. Yeah, the relationship between the sexes certainly as well. Yeah, yeah well, for the 1960s, the... very progressive to have two, two yeah. female characters, first yeah. of all. Star Trek only had one, really. <laughs> yeah. If you think about it, it was one, it was Uhura and that's it. Yeah. And they had two and they didn't... They weren't bullshit. They they actually did stuff. Yeah, which is again it is with a grain of salt because the one was still the bossy kind of know-it-all security officer, and the other one was described as from the the admiral described her as uh, some people don't even know if she's really a woman. Oh yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh come on, fuck you, dude. What was the thing at the start? with this the Frauen sind momentan überflüssig. Yeah. Is it redundant? Yes. Right? Okay. Well, it, it is in that case Women true because redundant. because it's a starting sequence of the ship and okay. and she's a security officer. Ah, okay. Doesn't need to she be. Know yeah, to and the other one, the, the other one was a, I think, a technician, okay. but not. She's not an engineer or something. I, okay. They never. I think they never really explained mm -hmm. what her job was. But she, she also but wasn't yeah, they, useless they, they yet. They initiated the whole escape and stuff. So that yeah, was exactly. Quite progressive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Again, they could have written it the way they wanted it and just wrote that two yeah. of the men escaped. 
Yeah. Yeah, at any point and rescued the women. So Yeah, they were very active as opposed to passive. Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Hmm. So so yeah. Go go feminism. I think like is is nineteen uh, sixties feminism. Is, is Star Wars like progressive? Like obviously Rogue One was quite progressive. Yeah. But what no, about the, the Star, other Star Wars. Nah, not that. Not that much. Princess Leia just. Well, yeah, but she gets sexualized hard. Yeah. At yeah, the yeah. end of the at the mo- end of the last movie mm-hmm. with the whole the whole costume, the Leia okay, costume. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, you yeah. remember that one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> eh. So yeah, that that they they really tried with that one, and they actually didn't go back on the kissing thing. They they kept the flirting again mm-hmm. from the previous episodes, but not the 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 next step where they kissed in the last episode. So I like mm. that too. Mm. The 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 Cliff and the uh, Romanov, I think is her her name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, shit, I should have remembered that <laughs> <laughs> after six episodes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, so 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 yeah, quite a thinker too. Yeah, if no, you it want was. to, it actually it really you, was. You can yeah. just watch it for entertainment as well, mm. but you can actually you know. I'd encourage have, people to ha- have a good think it a about it. Is it on YouTube? Like, can people see uh, this? it's a bit hard to to find. Okay. but people are. And how well known is it? In it, the German in, speaking it, oh, countries? it's it's people they actually it. made a movie. By cutting up all the episodes and <laughs> stuffing them, rearranging them, and okay. they made a really shitty movie out of it <laughs> to get some cash in on the nostalgia. Yeah, and yeah. that one was released, I think, two thousand four or oh, something okay. like that. So it is. And they remastered and re-released it on DVD and stuff like that. So yeah, so it if is. If I go to Austrians and I say, they, depends on what age. Okay. Really, like my generation doesn't know shit about that show. So how do, where I need to go find a forty-year-old? Probably 40, 50 year old. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that had a TV back then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Before the moon landing, that like was the cutoff. Oh yeah. Because most people got a TV for the moon landing. Yeah. Or had access to TV at that point. Yeah. So okay, we are already. Oh shit! Again, an hour in. Fuck you, dude. And fuck me for <laughs> encouraging. <laughs> All this behavior. This is what happens when you get an Irish person on the program. Yeah. <laughs> no, all we do the Ameri- in life is the talk. Americans, the Americans talk to. You know, in our country, like, it's just raining all the time. Yeah, you ha- so we you sit in the pub. Yeah. We drink Guinness. Yeah. And we just talk. Yeah. Nonsense. Yeah. Good stuff. For hours. Yeah, like Austria. Yeah. We do the same thing, but we have nice weather. Yeah. <laughs> we, we are not deterred by, 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 by nice weather to go inside and have a, have a pint. But, you know, if you'd interview me between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m., this yeah. would have taken about 10 minutes because that's the one time of the day where we, we're monosyllabic. Irish people, we just don't wake up until at right. least 10 a.m. Right, yeah, and yeah. we just hate mornings. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what is his Moran, what's his name? The, the stand-up comedian. And he had black books. Dylan Moran, yeah. Dylan Moran. Yeah. 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 Oh my I, god, yes, him, yeah. I he, had, he is the quintessential, quintessential Irish man. Yes. Bernard Black waking up in his bookshop yeah. and like, where am I, am I dead? Yeah. That's every Irish person. Yeah, let's have up. a sausage yeah. and some and some, some, some eggs. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, but um, let's let's move on to the last point. We have to close cool. this up. And what that's the last point? Final conclusion. Conclusion. Yeah. Okay. So... What did you think of this? Uh, would you recommend it to other people? And what what way would you recommend them that they watch it? Like absolutely, in, in what? I, I definitely recommend it. Um, it's it's highly amusing. Uh, it's there's you know it's compelling. There's right. A lot of action. Right. Uh, the special effects pretty good for the time. Yeah. Pretty cool music. Oh, the music again. <laughs> yeah. Just listen to the music. Yeah. And um, no, absolutely, would definitely recommend ten yeah. out of ten. Ten out of ten. Yeah. Would see again. Would see again. Nice. I want to. I want to go and, and watch the first. Episode. Would you? Would you? Would you watch it with your mates, or would you? Would you? Would you make a drinking game out of it, or? You could definitely make a drinking game out of it. Like every time, Commander McLean gets enraged, or or has a brilliant plan. Yeah. Yeah. Every, every time. time the over befails Haber, his like his his like chin starts like gibbering and, and moving. Good around. one. Good one. Yeah. Um, because he's the really erratic one. Yeah. Yeah. He he yells a lot in the previous episodes, especially. Every time there's sexual tension between McLean and, and Romanoff, security yeah. woman. Yes. Um. 
Yeah. Oh, no, you could make a very fun drinking game out of this. Yeah, and no watch it with your mates. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, again, I, of course, I, I, I recommended the previous episodes. It's definitely one of the best ones, though, in the, in the whole show. This, okay. one, this one is a standout, especially because of the, the music, but also how the, the, the story works with the people and, and everything like that. That's, that's very, very, very nicely done, I Was thought. Was it one of the last? Yeah, it's the second to last. So we only have one to go. And that, oh, and is that a good one? I have no idea. I, oh, I only know, like, course, like the, the yeah. first time I watched it. I only watched the first two episodes, oh, right. and then so I you're stopped. As, you're as fresh as I am. With yes, this. yes, okay. with this one at least. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, watch it. Um, and now we we plugs. Uh, where can people find you? Um, um, I don't what know. do what? I, I suppose I, I I've just started being active in the Vienna stand-up comedy scene. Right. Yes. So it's a small enough scene. So hopefully, if you want to, yeah, pop in yeah. at one of the shows. You're probably yeah. there. Do you have a Facebook, a Twitter, where people can I find have you? My own private Facebook. Oh Sam shit! Ford, fucking. No, no, you me. shouldn't. You shouldn't give away. No. Oh, uh, uh, if you <laughs> don't use it for your comedy act or promotional stuff, it's it's very useless. Oh okay. Yeah. So nothing right I'm now. I'm also on Tinder. Oh yes, yes. Desperately find him. Find for a partner. Find Sam Ford on t- uh, Tinder please, and please and find me. Swipe please him so like a, so hard to the right that being. <laughs> swipe him so r- hard to the right that he's gonna that I feel, feel like it. Norbert Hofer. Yeah. Please swipe me so far right that I feel like Norbert Hofer. Yes. Yes. On a you. sunny day, <laughs> yeah. in the Austrian countryside. Yeah. With like parasailing. Yeah. That, paragliding. That's yes. what he does. Paragliding. He loves it. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> he wants to injure himself even more. Yes, I'm. I'm totally. But that's cool the FPU. We're the FFPU. Yeah, yeah. Again, that's just coincidence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> didn't didn't mean for that to happen. Yeah. Sure. Um. Yeah. So people can't find you yet. If if you if ever people can find you, I will put the link yeah. in the description below. If That'd it be ever great. pops up. Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. you are on I don't know Instagram. No. <laughs> about the cool kids, cool I'm kids not use. Cool enough for Instagram. No, no. But in a few weeks or something <laughs> like that, when you actually have to promote your stuff, <laughs> <laughs> because you are an actually uh, 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 you have you have you are already good, but you have potential. That's as as somebody who who's mm. done it for a long time. Mm. I, I can I can feel it. Well, actually, also, also I just thought of a real plug. Uh, God, yeah. I'm on a program called First Dates Ireland. That's going to be on uh, a channel called RTE. All right. Uh, Arte. On the, on, the, on the second You're of March. You're on Arte? What? A-R-T-E? Yes. You're on Arte? No, Amazing. No, sorry. It's RTE. It's the Irish National Broadcast. Oh. oh. And it's a dating program. <laughs> All right. I'm, and that's I'm on g- the second of March. So maybe, um, so maybe this is going to... I think your episode is going to be later than that. So it's gonna be already out and watchable, yeah. right? On yeah. probably you on have the player. We got player. Right, amazing. Yeah. All right, so I'm yeah. gonna put the link mm. in the description for that. Um, what was that again? Uh, RTE. 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 Well, Irish people say or. Yeah. British people say R. RTE. Like bloody pirates! They are pirates. They went around the world stealing gold off bloody everybody. Oh yeah. Am I right? I'm not wrong. <laughs> You're pretty right. Yes, yes. The, the 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 British are like the British Museum is just oh, look just, at look at all the stuff we've we stolen stole from the Africans. Yes, there's actually Austrian art there in the too. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to get them to give it back. When are they going to give the Greeks the Elgin marbles back? Nope. That's my question. Nope. Never. Nope. Especially after Brexit. Oh yeah. They're like fuck you guys. We're not. And even... all the Egyptian mummies. They, no, no. Sh- look, they're gonna put some t- some engine turbines or something like that yeah. on the on the main island and just push push Great Britain slowly to Greenland. Yeah. And then they're gonna annex Greenland and make a new continent. You heard it here first. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, that's their master plan. Um. Thank you for being here, Sam. It was an absolute pleasure. Yes, Thank it you. was. Um, uh, for you guys, come back. Uh, we're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on uh, YouTube, t- iTunes. Drop us a like and and, and, and a co- Oh, we really need uh, some some five star or four star reviews on iTunes because then the the algorithm really picks up, and then we get recommends to other people and stuff like that. So yes, 
uh, promote my stuff, I guess. <laughs> Shameless self-plug. And um, I'm actually doing comedy now too. So when this comes out, I'm maybe be in Vienna doing stand-up somewhere. Maybe even good this time. <laughs> I bombed the last time. All right, guys. Um, till the next time. Bye. Goodbye.